please help me welcome the hippest dude I know, Cole Cooper. Hey guys, how you doing? Great. Awesome. I, obviously, you guys know my name is Cole. Uh, I'm a 17 year old senior at Cedar Rapids, Washington, right up the road. I am a performer, I'm an athlete, student, but I'm also an artist. Um, the way I got here is a little bit different than, I guess, the average photographer. I started out as a complete jock. I was football team captain, leadoff hitter for our baseball team, and final leg of our 4x400 relay for track. And then everybody else threw. <laughs> <laughs> My freshman year happened. I got three concussions in a four week time span, and I have a chiropractor mother who won't let me play football after that. So, baseball and track suddenly faded out because I mean, they just didn't really seem all that important to me. So, I resorted to my music. After three years of middle school show choir, I continued on to four years of high school show choir. And, I mean, during my sophomore year, music was the path for me. I was planning on going to the University of Nebraska Lincoln and uh, majoring in educational music. But then my junior year came. I bought a T3i Canon starter package during the summer and just started taking pictures as much as I can. That year I joined yearbook in hope of getting a little bit more exposure and then also getting more time with the camera in my hand because I knew that's what I needed. At the time, one of my best friends was Jared Printy. And I shall switch my hands so I can come on. Come on. It's gonna work sometime, or I'll just click on this. Bam. Okay, cool. I'll just do that. Well, see Jared in the center. Um, so Jared was a starting shooting guard for Wash's basketball team, and he had asked me to come take pictures. So I did for one game, loved it. It was a great experience. So I asked my, uh, my yearbook professor if I could be exclusively assigned to the basketball team for the season. He said yes. And I had an amazing time spending my time just taking pictures of basketball, and I, I fell in love with it. I loved to shoot by that time. Since then, I've gone a lot of places and shot for a lot of different calibers of athletes. Just this year, I was fortunate enough to meet, become friends with, and shoot for some of the most talented basketball players in our area, in our state, and even in the country. Starting with basketball made me work, learn a lot about a lot of things that you couldn't just really learn in studio portrait photography. Slide switch, sorry. So these three, I had the opportunity to shoot for. Uh, they were actually be my classmates at the University of Iowa next year as well. They were all named AAU national champions this year while they were playing for the Martin Brothers. So when I shot for Jordan Bohan this year, I really learned to capture the moment. This shot actually is from one of his playoff games uh, in which he had four, 44 points. Not 400, 44, 44 points. He was amazing that game. He had both both sides of the crowd, both hit Linmar and Cedar Falls, who it was, were both just cheering crazy because he would hit three after three after three. Even the other coach was yelling because they couldn't stop him. It was an insane game that I remember through this picture, and that's what I love so much just about photography. It's just you can remember these awesome moments. I also had the opportunity to shoot for these three guys. Obviously very high level athletes. See this guy, Mike, he's 6'9", he's 7 foot. Trey, while he's a little bit shorter, if you give him the ball beyond the three-point line, it's going in. It's just how it is. See, when I first met Muhammad, he came up behind me, stood over me, and said, So how tall are you? <laughs> Needless to say, I was kind of terrified. <laughs> but so, these guys, obviously for reasons, said they're going pro in a couple of years. They're famous at these tournaments, and I get to walk around with them because I'm the guy with the camera, which is nice. But I was amazed through the couple tournaments that I saw them. I was amazed with how respectful and humble they were just to the other players that they had beaten by 100 points the day before. They had nothing on them. They were just nice to them because they had nothing to be mean about. They weren't cocky. They were just very respectful. And I learned a lot from that. Thanks. So, just in the past week I had the opportunity to shoot for these guys, actually. Uh, you may have seen these two in the national championship over a week ago. They all played in the ACC Barnstorming Tour that played at Linmar last week. 
I got a lot of really awesome dunk pictures, as you can kind of see, since you know they're college players and kind of fly wherever they want for some reason. Um, but I also missed a lot because it seemed whenever I, I mean, kind of stopped paying attention because the ball was on the other side of the court that suddenly Bryce Johnson had stolen the ball and went for some epic jam that I missed. It was quite frustrating. He, he really taught me to keep my eyes on the game and just stay focused even in the boring parts of the game. See, high caliber athletes aren't my only focus though. Some of my favorite shots come from elementary school basketball. <laughs> I love it so much, um, just because it is such a developmental time for the kids. Obviously, as you can see, she doesn't have the upper body strength to shoot a free throw, which is happens to all of us. I mean, I think it's just a great picture just to show that. But then also as they get older, they start developing the size, the strength, and the skill that they need, as you can see as you just get older. And I, I really love just developing that. I mean, what grandma and grandpa doesn't love to have a picture on the fridge, huh? So basketball really did get me started. It got me to upgrade my equipment, learn a couple different techniques, and become a much better overall photographer. After basketball season was over, I had nothing to do. I was tired of the same old routine of just trying to find a school to shoot for for some event of something that they wanted me to go to because I had a camera. It was annoying. So I went and just shot around Cedar Rapids and really, really, really wanted to just create art. So these are some of my shots of um, Cedar Rapids and just around. This is actually in Hawaii with my cousin. We can't really see it very well, but there it is. Um, sorry. Um, I, I just always try to capture something that you didn't exactly see in everyday life. My favorite thing to be told after like posting one of these on my Instagram pages you make Cedar Rapids look not boring. <laughs> I, I, I do shoot a lot in Cedar Rapids and in Iowa City, but I do hope to travel a lot more in the next couple of years. And I mean, street shooting really came an everyday hobby, especially in the summer, but I, I really love doing it even today. So after that year, uh, I started, I, I really missed football. It was really hard not for me to play, especially because all my teammates were always out there after every Friday night. And so I had to find a way to get myself back in. So I shot, because you know that's what photographers do. After 15 games that season, I had a lot of practice. And so it was just a great experience for me to be able to spend all these times with such great teams. And it was just a great time to spend with friends. So I learned a lot that season. After that year, I was lucky enough to start working with Elizabeth von Presley. Raise your hand if you know Elizabeth. Yeah, she's very popular in the city. Uh, Elizabeth has always really been one of my role models because she really doesn't mind being different, either in her photography or in just in real life. She used to always tell me when we were working, if you got the shot, does it really matter how you got it? I took that into consideration lots of times. She introduced me to a lot of things, master editing, wedding, seniors, engagement pictures, stuff that I had never really done before, and she really just taught me a lot. Here are actually a couple of my 2015 seniors. I love to shoot seniors because I am one. It's really cool just being able to spend four time, or not four time, four hours just walking around, taking pictures of someone, getting to know them, and being able to portray their character and their lifestyle through a set of pictures. He had to climb on that basketball hoop and almost fell off. It was terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> my goal for next year and the years coming is to get myself into more of the clothing and branding side of photography, working with more graphic design and different environments in order to endorse the product. I'm currently in the application process for a photo team in Chicago called Team Cozy. Team Cozy is a photography team that specializes in advertising campaigns, editorials, photography, videography, and social media content. Sorry, I could not remember all those words. I wasn't <laughs> But they aren't uh, a bunch of guys just running around with cameras. This group of guys, which is uh, the main, there's about 12 of them that are really main photographers for the group, and then there's around 200 around the entire world. Those 12 main photographers have a social media reach of 1.6 million. Lots of people. They've done work for Nike, Adidas, Puma, The Weeknd, who's a singer, and I, a bunch of other just brands that I would love to work with someday. I'm still learning, but I'm proud of how far I've come. If you'd like to see more of my work, please visit my website at oldcooper.photography. Thank you all for all coming to my story.